An experiment in recycling turned into an unusual house in Southern California. It's giving a new twist to the concept of the mobile home. The owner hopes the idea takes flight with others. Our travel editor, Peter Greenberg, goes inside and on board. Now we're going from the guest wing to the main part. To the main wing. Main cabin, okay. Many homes in the hills above Malibu have wings, but only Francie Rewald's wings actually used to fly. It was built for uh, Pan Am, so they bought the first 50 uh, out of production from Boeing. So it was one of the original 747s. Indeed. So Peter, I want to take you out on my wing. The roof of this 5,000 square foot house is made entirely from the wings and tail of one of the largest commercial airplanes that ever soared. Whoa, this is, this is wild. A couple of the pilots that have come out have said the only time they've been on a wing was during training. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't get to walk on a wing. The project was the brainchild of architect David Hertz. They started with the idea of a curved ceiling, completed that curve, and formed an ellipse. It reminded me of an airplane wing section, and then it just flashed on me, why not use an airplane wing? I said, let's go find a plane. It's a cool idea. Let's go find a plane first. Look at it. It's not that heavy. It was 2005 when that search brought them to an airplane boneyard in the Mojave Desert, 90 miles outside Los Angeles. They settled on this Pan Am turned Tower Air Jet for a price tag of $35,000. But that was just the beginning. Then they filleted the plane, Peter, cut it in half, removed the top. They cut the wings off, transported the wings in their entirety, closing five freeways in California, in part in the pun, which was through the whole project, but we were winging it through the whole, the whole job. Since the last 10 miles to Rewald's property are narrow, winding roads, the 125-foot-long wings had to go for one last flight. Who knew we'd have to cut the wings in half and fly them from the airport here to the site? My wings are here. I know. <laughs> so what you're basically saying is buying the plane was one thing, getting it here was the expense. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. So basically, here's the plane, $35,000, shipping not included. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Other parts of the plane found their way into the house, too. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is from the original plane, too, right? Yes. Not, not many airplane wings and windows open. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> I designed it not with the idea that, oh, let's just have a woman living in an airplane. I designed it, you know, as an organic process of trying to find the most efficient use of materials to achieve, you know, the most dramatic effect. This is the first class cabin. It took six long years, approvals from 17 government agencies, even questioning from Homeland Security agents wondering why they were buying a 747. But Francie Rewald now has a dream home that also sends a message. It is saying reuse, repurpose, and think about next time when you're flying, what you might build out of a discard. Chances are I flew on that plane. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I'm still waiting for my mileage. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you did. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> yeah, here's your mileage. So, and she's getting even more mileage right. out of it in the near future when she turns the fuselage into an art studio. You are airborne here. You're airborne. Exactly. <laughs> I got to tell you, one thing is to buy the plane, about $40,000 off the desert floor, getting that plane to that location, the helicopters alone go for 18000 an hour to get that wing to that location. Wow. Yeah. How much does a house cost, Peter, and what does a homeowner do for a living? <laughs> well, the I'm check baggage curious. fees are going to kill you. No, I mean, no really, I, I'm curious. This is probably know? about a $200,000 construction house just to get it onto the location, and then you start building. It's mm. such a cool idea. And she does what for a living? I missed that part. She basically flies on the ground now. Yeah. She just So you can go it's buy great. a plane. You just have a hard time getting it to wherever you want to take it. There are planes all over the world. There's a 747 <laughs> yeah. in Stockholm that's a hotel. Charlie's mind oh. is going. Like, I know. I know, yeah. I know I you are. I buy a plane? <laughs>